Hello guys, hello, my name is Yelena and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna decorate uh, cookies for New Year. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it's already end of the year. It's just hard to believe. It just went by so fast. All right, so this is the royal icing for my sugar cookies. The recipe for the icing you can see under mm -hmm. the gallery and uh, under playlist on the YouTube channel under the icings. And I can try mm -hmm. to put the link below in the description box. So I just thin it out to the flooding consistency. So make sure it's thin enough so it spreads, but it's not going to run off the cookie. And I'm gonna do my shape, the body first. And as you can see, I left the top a little blank. So when cookie little dries out, I'm gonna go back and uh, put the white icing on top, kind of like a snow melts down off the number. All right. So I'll just do that on all my three numbers I'm gonna do. And for the zero, I'm gonna use a bunny. All right. And I apologize if you guys see some noise in the background. That's my needy dog <laughs> whining. So just please ignore that. All right, so for the bunny cookie, so that's the shape, the color that I have. And I'm going to pre-mark it kind of um, what's where, like where his ear goes, how he paw goes. Um, you can do it with pencil like I'm doing here. Nothing, it will be okay. Uh, or you can do this edible marker, so it's up to you. Just marker, make sure don't... Sometimes they're very potent, and sometimes it's actually for me, they bleed through the like white icing. So I kind of like to use pencil. All right, so first I'm going to feel for the shape, uh, the parts of the bunny that kind of under the, like the first one. So like inside the ear. And I'm just using, again, thinned royal icing. And I cut my bag very, very small. So just make sure I can make those small shapes. All right, so I'm going to do inside the ear like that. So just slowly make sure you don't overfill so icing doesn't run off the cookie and stays on top. So I'll do ears. I can do his chin. So every detail that make sure they not connected. And so I'll do chin. We can do eyes. the back paw and you can help with the toothpick make sure the shape is all nice and even so you can get into corners so I'm just using simple toothpick or you can use those metal scribers whichever way you like Just like that. And we can do tail. See the all parts not connected. And we're gonna let them dry a little bit. So when you see they start turn into little mat, we can do second layer. So I already feel the top of the ears body, and then I give him little chicks and let that dry too and now I'm going with third step so now I'm going to feel the rest of the head the other paws all right so just make sure you very careful and you can see my bag it's still that little uh, small opening in the bag so that way I take my time 
and do it slowly make sure I don't overfill all right and again all the spots that you can't get to with just piping you can get with the toothpick later All right, so this is what it looks like, and now we'll let it dry, and then we're going to paint him a little bit. All right, so now the bunny is uh, dry to touch, but if I push it, it will still be um, leave a mark, so he's not completely dry, but dry enough for me to do this step. All right, so here's just petal dust, and I'm going to use some pink to color inside the ear. Just dry dust on a very, very fluffy brush, so make sure you don't break into the icing. Or if you don't trust yourself, you can always just leave that bunny dry completely and come back to this step like the next day. So whichever works for you. All right, so just give him a little bit color. I'm gonna give him nose. So just more royal icing and a pale, pretty pink. And you can stop at this, but I'm gonna do gray, light gray bunny. So I'm gonna use gray petal dust and I'm gonna give him a little shading. So again, this very fluffy brush with light motion, I'm gonna just continue to color him just like I did with ears and kind of give him shades like around the eyes and the nose and under the head and um, where where the legs and stuff so he will kind of doesn't look white but more like light gray Okay, now I'm going to paint him eyes and I'm using blue petal dust and a little Everclear or alcohol or lemon extract, whichever you guys used to work with. And I'm going to just mix just a little bit of the blue to color inside his eyes. The reason I like to use Everclear because it evaporates pretty much as soon as I start paint, so it doesn't sit on the surface and it's not breaking up the icing so it's really nice all right so a little blue now i'm gonna use gray and do the same thing only i'm gonna paint now inside the eye like the darker spot just like that and with the same color, so it doesn't look too harsh, I'm going to give him a couple lashes and eyebrows and kind of highlight a few details. Not much, but just a little bit more to it.
All right, so here's the final results, final cookies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. And I just want to wish you everybody happy new year. Hope the new year brings you happiness, health, and everything that you wished for new year will come true. And I will see you next time, next year. Bye. Love you so much, guys.